Hello, you've reached Philip Ward. I just want to thank you for giving me a call and being a part of this project. Feel free to say whatever you'd like. Thanks. So, to anyone who's listening, do yourself a favor and tell somebody you love them today. Because you never really know when or if this will be the last time you'll ever get to tell them that or speak to them. Life is way too short to put something off until tomorrow. Hello. I don't know if I can do this anymore, man. I, I'm, I'm just a, a husk of someone who used to, to be here. I just, I can't focus on the present. My grades are failing. I'm failing all my classes. Parents are not proud of me. I'm grounded for I don't even know, man. I'm in my car, my life. I can't see my friends. I'm just waiting for it to end, man. Hey. Just wanted to let you know that there's always something to be thankful for. Always. Um, yesterday I found out my uncle was a pedophile, and it, he was someone I, I really respected. It made me wonder, all the memories I had with him, if he would ever think of doing something to me. Um, and I, I don't really know how to deal with, deal with it. Um. Yeah. I've had a boyfriend for over two and a half years, and I've been in love with my coworker for probably about six of them, six months of that. I don't really know what to do about it. I tried to break up with boyfriend last night. Boyfriend won't let me break up with him. I don't really have anyone to talk to about this. So, I told you. Um, I don't know really <laughs> where to start. Uh, I ain't never done nothing like this before. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I guess I'll go ahead and start talking, I guess. Uh, it's currently April 7th, 11.53 p.m. Um, I'm scared. And I feel alone a lot. But I keep my head up high all the time. Life's never really been easy. You know the things I think about, seeing, or dealt with. But I always keep my head up high and for some reason always smiling. I always want to see others happy. But I care for a lot of people. I care to be in others' presence. I'm always alone. When things get rough or anything like that, I'm constantly alone. I pray a lot. I ask for forgiveness a lot. But I, I, I don't know. I don't have no one to turn to. I've never had no one to turn to. The only person I've always had to turn to is myself. And a lot of people would say, well, you're strong for that. And that's a good thing, you know, you're wise. And I'm scared. I, this life, this learning how to do this new thing, it's hard. But yet, I'm always staying strong. My head's always hot. I don't know. 
I don't know sometimes. But I know I'm not going to fail. Like, I, like, I know that deep inside I'm not going to fail, but for some reason I'm always thinking I'm going to fail. And it's weird to think that, but to know that you're not going to. I don't know. Hey, um, kind of going through a lot. I've, uh, I've lost everything. I was married. It was only for two years, but I've been together five. I messed up too many times. I never cheated or hit her, but I wasn't the husband I should have been. And I lost her, along with everything else. She hates me now. doesn't want to even talk to me and she's getting rid of my cats and won't let me have them. I know to most people they're just cats but one of them I found under a house and raised her back to health and she's my everything and then the other one's pretty much right up there with her. And due to the mistakes I made, I lost every friend. I have no one. I don't even have a house. Or thankfully, my mom's let me stay, but she barely even wants to do that. scared and broken I, I just wish I knew why but God knows why and that's enough it has to be Man, I see you around everywhere at work and how we just went from being each other's best friends to not even talking anymore. I miss you. Hello. I think I'm finally happy. I think it's taken me about three years to finally realize that I have reached a good level of happiness. I've always thought that I was still in a bad state, but the facade I've been putting up had, uh, had kind of embodied who I was. So while I did feel happy and I looked happy, I felt underneath that I was not, but I think finally now I realize that I am, because about three years ago, I uh, nearly took my own life. I just, I was so depressed, didn't know what to do, felt so alone. Uh, I, I still need to find love, still want to find love, try to find the one anyone really but we can wait on that and I'm sure it will come eventually but right now I know I'm happy and yeah thank you on um 
on April 2nd, uh, 2023, my, um, my grandma, my best friend, um, took her own life. Uh, she didn't really think about it, I don't think. Um, I think it was kind of spur of the moment as a uh, kind of way to try and make a point. Um, but I don't know. Um, it's just been really weird with Alder. Uh, life is just so in a way that I never thought it would really be. Um, I would think about, you know, maybe what would happen if I lost her, and I thought it would be something that I could take. Because I, I didn't think it would be in this way. But, um, yeah, no, it's just been awful, I guess. I wasn't really prepared with what to say. I just wanted to talk about her. I wanted someone else to maybe know about her. But she was everything good. I miss her. Hi, Zach. Um, I haven't really heard your voice in a while. And I guess you really haven't heard mine either. But I really wish I could hear yours. It's not easy to know that you're in the same state as me. But I still have no idea where you are or what you're doing or how you're doing. I don't know anything about you anymore. And that scares me. I'm sorry. I love you. Hey, um... Uh, I just saw the one, one of your videos, and you just made me think about it. I just, I couldn't stop crying, man. I can't, I don't want to say. It's so hard, man, being around in this time, man. Every day I get up, I do the same thing over and over and over again. And I can't stop. I can't get out of it. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to get out, man. I'm trying to get out of it. I can't. I'm I'm stuck here. Ruins too. Ruins too. Um, what's good, fellow? I'm from, um, I'm from a small town in Arizona. And if anyone I know sees this, they're going to know exactly who it is. But my name's Breck. And I find it really hard to to have to have fun with, with other people. Um, I just overanalyze, overthink about what I'm doing, where I'm doing it, who I'm doing it with, how I'm doing it. It's It's getting out of hand. I can't stop it. I don't know what to do. I do everything alone. Or I try to. I, I try to go do stuff with my friends. I have friends. I just, I've been, I, I can't do it. I, I can't 
stop thinking about what's happening and enjoy myself at all, ever. You know, I, um, I don't know. That's, that's all I got to say. No one told me how lonely and scary it was going to be to grow up, to be my own person, especially when I've spent so much of my life living for other people. How how am I supposed to unlearn so many years, my entire childhood, of just people-pleasing and just taking care of everybody else and putting my feelings on the sidelines. Nobody told me it would be so lonely. And I really wish someone would have smacked me in the face when I was 15 years old. 16, actually. I wish someone smacked me in the face and said, you know what? You gotta fucking love yourself. Because... I don't think I've ever fully loved myself before. And now that I have to be independent and actually care for myself and enjoy my own company alone, I I fucking hate it. I hate being alone. I hate not being around people, but at the same time, I can't help but isolate. It's so hard just running around in the same fucking circle. I just didn't get the guidance or the courage to not give a fuck about what people think or have the confidence to just be my own person. I really wish I would have started earlier. Because now I feel like the loneliest person on earth with no sense of direction, no plans for my future. I just feel empty. I just went to the dentist. It's been a really long time since I went because my dad would always take me and he passed away um recently and it's been really hard for me to go out and find a new dentist but i did it and even though there's a lot of problems um it feels really good just super good to just get this off my chest and it's a shiny beautiful day and i hope if this reaches anybody that you are having just an amazing day like i am and even if you put it off you can still do it (laughs) Um, I'm not going to say my name. I'm just going to preface this by saying that I'm German and if my English is sort of rough, then I apologize, but um, here goes. It is currently my birthday. It's funny because I, my birthday is on 9-11, um, just two years later. Um, anyway, uh, I am currently visiting Berlin. Um, I had a great time visiting friends and attending my aunt's birthday party. Um, on the train here, I met someone um, who is pretty much exactly my type, um, who is smart, who is, who is good-looking beyond my comprehension, and um, who I had like a five-hour con- conversation with um, about many topics, um, which seemed genuine and um, really was eye-opening for me because I'd never expected anything um, like this to come from a random encounter. And um, we'd made plans to um, go out for dinner today. Um, by today, I mean um, yesterday. It's going to be 3 a.m. for me, and I haven't heard back from her. Which is pretty much all there is to say about it. Um, I am not that lucky of a person when it comes to relationships. And, um, yeah, I just had to let that out somewhere. I've, I've talked to a few friends about it, but I'm just in a bad situation, I guess. Um, I don't know if this will ever reach the light of the internet, but um, 
if it does, I guess keep your head up. Um, not most people who are in a situation are in situations that I am in, um, and for many people, in, it does get better. But for me, it just doesn't seem like it right now. Um, yeah, have a good day, I guess. Enjoy life. Hi again. It's uh, been a couple months since my last voice message, your voicemail. I believe it was sometime in August. A lot's happened since then. I'm divorced. I lost my kids. I lost everything. Worst of all, my life has been in shambles since August. So, I would just like to say, even if it's tough, keep going. And a special message to, if my ex sees this, fuck you for taking everything from me. I swear to God, as soon as I get into that courtroom to take everything from you, I will do it with a big fucking smile on my face. That felt good to say. I've been needing to get that out for weeks, months even. <laughs> hey, I know we haven't seen each other since elementary. But there was not one day I haven't stopped thinking about you. And I hope we get to see each other one day. Hi. Um, I feel a little weird doing this. But here it goes. No one's know, no one knows about this. But I'm currently 32 years old and I'm having flashbacks of my childhood and I was severely abused sexually and mentally growing up by a cousin. She was supposed to be taking care of me and that she raped me for years. Um, I think I'm just learning to process that, and uh, I've been trying not to blame myself because I was a child. But anyways, I'm having panic attacks very recently, and I'm trying to get better. Um, But I guess I needed to get this out first, and so, yeah. There's that. Oh, denial is a river. <laughs> Your husband is gay. I already sent one, but I just want to say another because it's been on my chest and I really don't have anybody to talk to about it. So I'm just going to say it. I miss my dad a lot. And he died when I was 16 in 2017. But I lost him more than once. He went from being my dad to being able to take me places, play games with me, play football, baseball, just, you know, like just what parents do with their kids to getting sick and not seeing him as much, to him losing his legs him losing his hands, him going from 240 pounds to 115, basically a sack of bones sitting in a wheelchair. And I wouldn't see him because he was always in the hospital or he would be at dialysis. And I guess when I turned 21, it hit me really bad. And it felt like 
it felt like I was on a carousel and I wanted to get off and I couldn't. Like, I couldn't control it. I couldn't control the fact that I lost time with my father. I lost time being with my dad and the fact that I didn't spend more time being with him has really stunted me. And it's all these feelings I can't, I can't do anything with. There's like, no way to fix them in my head there isn't it's always there and I didn't think it'd be such a big deal I didn't for a while and then I guess it just hit me and it's been really hard it's it's hard for me to see other people with their father and do things and Seeing little girls with their dad, and it, it breaks me sometimes. Not not because, not I don't know. Maybe it is a jealousy, but not in a bad way. It's just I get I'm sad. I'm sad about it, and it's and it's made me angry. I'm angry because I don't have a dad, and I'm going to be 23 this year, and and he's not here. He's not going to be here when I get, you know. When I get married, he's not he's not here for me to ask for advice. It's 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 a lot. Hi, um, I just wanted to get something off my chest. I would like to remain anonymous, but I like in my life I feel like everything around me is going good. I'm succeeding, um, exceeding expectations, but I don't feel the way I should. Inside, I never felt worse. Nothing ever feels like it should. Sometimes I'm happy, but that it's fleeting. Even with my friends, I find myself longing for just longing to be alone but when I'm alone I lost my friends and I just it's a loop and family's not really something I can turn to and I just feel lost I don't know I just feel like everything I try is futile and I don't know what to do I think this whole skibbity toilet trend is stupid and the next generation is doomed. That's about it. Um, my name is uh Daniel and it's raining right now. I feel like anyone can probably hear that. Um I guess I would just say that I still blame myself for a lot of the things I've done in the past, including my friend's suicide, which took place five years ago. Um, I know people tell me it's not my fault and that there's nothing I could have done, but it's something I still struggle with to this day through therapy, through medication, just talking. You know, people kept telling me it would get better. I mean, yeah, it's gotten better, but I don't know. I think I think it's something that you never truly get over. And it just leaves you with questions, and I think that's maybe why I blame myself so much. I wish I could have done things differently. I wish I could have been a better person, not have been an addict, not have been a shitty friend at times. But I don't know. I just know that all I can do right now is just do better. Let's make it do tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. It's been exactly one month, um, and now I have a choice between being a victim and being a survivor, which is really weird. Um, I never thought I'd be 
a part of that group. Um, I feel like I can't really talk about it. It's always in hushed tones and followed by horrified looks whenever I tell anyone anyways. But something I've learned is that you got to keep going. <laughs> you can't live in your past. Otherwise, it'll eat you up and you won't get to your future. So if he hears this, he didn't break me. This made me stronger. I am losing my mind. I don't trust my friends, even though I want to. And so much has happened these past two days. I want to just, just like cry and throw up and scream all at the same time. And my family doesn't help. And school is doing, I guess, somewhat decent. But like, I have no one to truly, truly talk to. I'm losing my best friend. And so I'm getting, so I find that school getting close to. I'm scared to because like we're just so similar. I don't want to. I want to get hurt, but. I shouldn't let that stop me from making a good connection. I do appreciate this. It's actually really cool. So, um, yeah, thanks. Hey, this message is for him. Um, it's been seven months today. And I just want you to know that I miss you. I miss you so much every single day. And the more the time passes by, I realize that I would have moved mountains. I would have done anything to keep you, but you love like I meant nothing. Like I was nothing. How how could you show so much love to me and just leave like I'm worthless? Like I mean nothing to you. I hope one day you look back and realize how much I loved you. And I, I would have been so worth it. <laughs> Hey, my name is Nick. I uh, saw one TikTok while laying in bed and binged a bunch and asked for a call. Yeah. I'm uh, moved really far away from all my uh, family and, and friends and stuff for work. Um, and, you know, for a while it was kind of rewarding and I was making a lot of money and, you know, I was okay just being me and my cat but you know I, I went home a week ago and saw my family and friends and it you know, made me realize how much I miss all that kind of stuff especially when all my coworkers aren't you know can't hang out with them really so yeah I don't know I just haven't really ever said that out loud you know everyone always asks me how I'm doing out there and I always just say you know I'm doing good work sucks haha but yeah. I really miss my family, but thanks for the project. It's really cool. Okay. Um, I called earlier, but I think I ranted too long, so I'll try to wrap it up faster. Um, I'm 33 years old, and I'm at a point in my life where I don't – I. I'm not me anymore. I'm not the fun, bubbly, outgoing person I used to be. I've lost my sense of identity. I've been with my husband for 19 years. Um, we've been married for 12, been together 19 years total. We were teenage parents. We met in high school. I had my children at 15 and 18 years old. They're now teenagers. And the fact that my kids don't need me as much because they're older and I'm just, you know, I'm at a point in my life where I just feel far away from everyone. And I think what makes that isolation more obvious is that the flaws in my marriage with my husband are starting to seep through more and more. 
I don't know why it's been really bad in the last two years between us. Um, we just try working at it. I've told him how he's made me feel, but I feel the more I try to change and be a different person, the more he's taken advantage of it. And I feel like he's emotionally abusive. And I think he sees that I'm trying to be softer and nicer. And instead of being an unsensitive person himself, he's just become very volatile in terms of emotional abuse. And I don't think he sees it. I have an eating disorder going on four years now, and I'm suicidal. And I just, I miss, I miss myself. I hope I find myself again, and I hope I'm happy again. And I hope my husband changes. I hope I can get through this time in my life and not end my life. I don't want to do this to my children or my family, but I just miss myself. And it's been going on for years, and I just miss me. And I want to find myself again. And I want my best friend back, my husband. I just wish things were like it, how it used to be. That's all. Hi. Okay. Um, I completely forgot what I was going to say last time. Um, when I called, so I was kind of like stuttering the whole time, and I'm sorry about that. Um. Damn it, fuck. Hi there. Um, I've got a very special message for a very special someone. Um, Devin, this is for you. Um, I think that I am falling for you. And we've been spending a lot of time together lately, and you've turned out to be the highlight of my week and I just I really really enjoy it and I hope that we get to keep doing it and I know that you're leaving in a few months and I am dreading that but I am counting down the days and enjoying every moment that I get to spend with you until you get back and yeah I know I can't tell you to see your face because that would complicate things, but I just had to get it out there. I love you. Hey, man. Uh, thanks for doing stuff like this. I think it means a lot to a lot of people. Um, I have two kids and a wife, and both my wife and I work. And today I took my kids to a birthday party by myself and I couldn't even like talk to anybody or anything like that. I don't know why. Uh, anyway, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> Thanks, man. So I went on a few dates with this girl. Um, I got a weird kind of feeling and a weird Snapchat from her that like looked like she was maybe on like another date. And I immediately like removed her on Snapchat, uh, unfollowed her and everything on every other social media platform and I've been feeling guilty like oh my god I was probably wrong like whatever this bitch is dating another girl like fully like posting and stuff I end up things like a week ago <laughs> WLW is crazy like listen to what they say it's crazy um but also, like, trust your gut. Like, damn. Fucking wild. 
It was cute, too. I thought we really vibed. That's crazy. Anyways. Yeah. Hey, fella. I'm currently trying to get out from under my fucking dog because she thought it was okay to stand over me. But my voicemail is pretty much like, do you know, if do guys actually love girls? I, I, at this point in my life, every person around me, me included, has been cheated on. <laughs> we're told that we're the love of their lives, where we work so hard, we, you know, see so much, you know, you cannot even see a red flag sometimes, and then all of a sudden, we get cheated on. I don't understand relationship culture now these days. I don't understand situationships. I don't understand casual dating. I don't I don't understand any of that fucking shit. I just got out of a five year relationship and it just puzzles me on how people are just like matching up with people and then not matching up with people the next day. It's confusing. Com- completely confusing, if that makes any fucking sense. Um You know, and it would be a lot easier if everyone just kind of communicated a lot easier, but everyone's so scared, too. But also, like, the main point of my fucking voicemail is, like, is there people out there that actually, you know, are loyal to other people? It it should be loyalty over love. You don't want someone to just love you because they can also love multiple other people you can get loyalty from someone but loyalty Mm -hmm. always has so many backgrounds and like morals and everything like that i i don't know how to describe it i don't fucking know how to describe it i'm just frustrated The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time.